Welcome back, it's Magic Dad with a new episode of What the Did I Buy? This week we are looking at Postmortem One Must Die Extended Sized Cut, which is a. Uh, as it's described on Steam, it says it's a narrative adventure playing an agent of death who must take one life that could change the fate of a conflict torn nation. It's $2.99 on Steam, and we are going to get into it. Welcome to Postmortem the... So... Yep. So, the, law, the case profile, so we're going to a country called Galicia. Uh, the date will be October 18th, 1879, or 1897. Uh, I always invert those numbers, I don't know why. Population is 1.9 million, expected... Uh, R plus three slash month. I don't know what that is. A country in its early stages of industrialization torn by almost five years of violent domestic conflict called the turmoil. Operative assigned, pending review, status is incomplete. Okay. So we're going to talk to... The... Welcome. Okay, welcome agent. Or welcome agent. The powers to be demanded that you take one life tonight. Choice is yours. Okay, where are you sending me? Actually, choice is mine. We are sending you to Galicia tonight. How much do you know about the place? Uh, not much. Well, no matter. You're not here to meddle with mortal affairs. Get in, pick a life, get out. I have some questions. Oh dear, you're one of those inquisitive types. What do you need to know? How did the conflict start? It all started with an argument over some Galician traditions and what defines a true Galician. Resulting in a baker being shot, anger and violence soon followed, quickly spreading and sweeping the country. That sucks. This baker revolt, as they called it, really highlighted the ide ideological and economical struggle between the two factions. What's the conflict about? There's two dimensions to the issue. First is the question of tradition and preserving the real Galatian culture, cultural heritage in light of rapid industrialization and economical progress. Second is the struggle between the wealthy business owners and their workers demanding better treatment and pay. The two dimensions seem to align themselves with New Agers on one side, Old Agers on the other. Who are the New Agers? Primarily wealthy businessmen and open-minded thinkers. They are in favor of rapid development, progressive reforms, and overall moving the country forward. They are criticized for abandoning their own cultural past and exploiting their workers for quick profit. Who are the Old Agers? Mostly the common workers and older rural folk. They, need, they speak of the need to preserve the Galatian culture and defend the common man from exploitation, but many are seen as holding backwards and archaic views and, the, allow, and slowing the country's progress. Ah, actually, I wanted to ask about you. Why, yes, let's grab some tea and biscuits and spend the next four hours chatting idly, because I do not have anything better to do tonight, right? Okay, well, don't have any more questions. Let's move along. Good, the turmoil, turmoil is why we're sending you to a fairly peaceful and safe gala. You know the type, high-profile fundraising event for some vandalized high school. Shouldn't be much trouble. Why was the school vandalized? I do not know much, but I believe Rose Hill High is one of the few schools which refused to segregate students based on their beliefs and social status. Angry parents on both sides protested that policy rather directly. So lots of big and influential characters are attending. Among others, it's an open event so you might see people from all paths of life. All right. In any case, don't get too involved. Just be prompt and efficient. We don't do overtime, you know. Shouldn't we try to help the conflict? Look at you, first assignment and already trying to play up the big shot. This isn't some sort of game. You don't win the prize uh, at the end. Just claim a life's night, whatever works for you. And, oh, and one more thing, not that it matters, but what gender would you like to appear to the mortals? Male. 
Poof, all done, magic. Now up ahead and then we'll transfer you. I have more questions. And I have more pencils in my drawer, but you don't see me bragging about it. Just go on ahead. What attitude. So. Okay, yep. Q or N to get the notebook. Once you made your mind, press tab and up uh, and walk up to the person you would like to claim. Okay. Let's get this party started. We'll get it started in here. Uh, there is some lag. I don't know why I've got such lag with this game. And it, uh, I've played it a bit before and it, it didn't have the lag when I was not recording. Okay, here we go. <coughs> October 18th, 1897. Uh, Got it right. Almost screwed it up, but... Galatia. City of Antrim. Okay. Oh, what's this? Rose Hill High devastated Sheldon to hold fundraiser. Destroyed playgrounds, broken windows, and political graffiti is what greeted Rose Hill High School principal Ronald Gilchrist when he entered the school grounds on the morning of September 6th. Gilchrist's staunch non-segregation pol policies allowing children of both new agers and old agers to be educated in the same classroom appear to be the reason for the attack, judging from the graffiti. They p play at being focused on our future, but they're simply beasts, said Principal Gilchrist. Uh, destroying an educational facility is the antithesis of progress, no matter how your politics lean. Bill Selden, CEO of Selden Glassware Incorporated, announced a plan to host a charity gala to raise funds for renovating the high school. High-profile guests include the Thatchers of Gal Media fame, have already expressed interest in attending and providing dangerous or generous donations. Old ager proponents have noted that particularly enough, uh, noted particularly enough, Mr. Selden has no children, nor has ever married, and believed this to be a sympathy grab by new ager upper class. Okay, so. Hello. How do you do? Ophelia Thatcher, how do you do? I don't believe I've made your acquaintance. Let me introduce myself proper. Go ahead. My name is Ophelia Thatcher. Yes, those Thatchers. I'm afraid I'm not uh, familiar with the Thatchers. Why, you must not be from Galatia indeed. My father is one of the executives of Gal Media Incorporated. The first company to successfully bring important voices right to, into the people's homes using new, the new and revolutionary radio technology. Now my mother is the warm and gentle voice behind the broadcast. I'm not going to be rude to her. I see. Go on about yourself. Being born as a Thatcher has put much expectations on me, as you can imagine. I was lucky enough to be admitted to one of Antrim's top private schools. I spend what little time I have left attending the many different causes. I have some questions. Uh, let's start with being a new ager. How do you feel about the old ager cause? Sure, it might come from a new ager family, but I understand the plight and of the common folk. I know it's important to remember what makes us Galatians, all of our traditions and ideals. If we replace traditional Galatian goods with those of generics made by cheap foreign labor or laying more immigrants in, we will lose those things entirely. Eventually, our country will become just like all the others, no longer unique. How is that bad? Aren't we humans? Well, yes, but we're not all the same. We should be proud of our history and our country. Cultural differences should be celebrated, not erased. But of course it's hard with the government increasingly allowing more foreigners in. Why would your, uh, why would your government do that? Cheap labor, foreign investments, the end, uh, 
In the end, somebody profits, while Galatia is stuck with a new social class to support. So many immigrants just don't understand us or our traditions. Can you believe one of the patrons who wasn't born in Galatia didn't even tap the mirror? Shameful. What's this about tapping the mirror? What? Are you one of the outsiders as well? Perhaps. Or, I'm not from Galatia. My, to invite more foreigners to a gala so symbolic of our country's struggles? I thought Mr. Selden would be more tactful, really. I'm really not liking this woman. Well, I just believe it is rude to come to someone's house and not respect their own rules. Those kind of people aren't ready for Glacia's gift. Perhaps they just don't know about it. Well, isn't it on them to educate themselves if they choose to come and live here? Maybe you should help them. If they can ever learn. Hopefully it is something that can be discussed at the new five-point plan. If not, well, we still have our radio in the Thatcher's voice. But alas, I'm getting myself a little too vexed. Please give me a few minutes to recompose myself. I'll come back later. Bye. I don't like her. Right now, she's on my number one uh, on my list. From torts to turmoil, exploring the roots of the Galatian conflict. It's been almost five years since John... John... Pie. I'm not going to try to pronounce it. So John Pye, a local baker from the city of Lorraine, was shot by an angry customer following a heated argument over the definition of Galatia's traditional holiday bread. While the incident may seem ridiculous in retrospect, its imp impact was significant. Mobs soon took to the streets, sparking violence and turmoil that quickly spread throughout through Galatia. This baker revolt was symbolic of the many questions quietly brewing over the past few decades. What defines a true Galatian? Are there factories bringing us steady work and affordable necessities, or exploiting our rights and producing generic goods? Are we sacrificing our culture and heritage as the, we enter an age of rapid reform and industrialization? Okay, well, we've gone over that too much already. What's this? The new five-point plan, what's the future holds for Galatia? With tensions high as we approach the fifth year anniversary, blah blah blah, five point plan. The old pro old ager culture unforgotten coalition now holding 35% of the popular vote. We'll need a lot of convincing after the insult they saw McDillon's plan to be two years ago. It doesn't have any details. Let's talk to this well, guy. I do not believe we have met. Bill Selden. Hold on a second. Welcome. I do not. I do not believe we have met. I'm who might you be, fine sir? My name is not important. My, a real person of secrecy. I see. Certainly, every gala needs their those to keep it interesting. In any case, I'm glad to have such interesting individuals attending our event. I hope you'll be interested in contributing towards a fundraiser. I will think about it. Of course, take your time and have a look at many wonderful items auction tonight. Ah, uh, I'm going. I he doesn't really. Hey, kid, kid. Hello. Hello, Gary O'Neill. My name is Jerry. I'm a student at the Rose Hill High, volunteering at the event tonight. Oh, what are you doing? Just small stuff. Carry food. Get people's coats. Nothing major. What's this event for? You must have heard about the incident, right? Our school got vandalized all bad. Some old, some folks weren't happy that it allows both new ager and old ager students. Ah, I see. Or... Anyway, yeah? What do you study at your school? Math, literature, history, all sorts of things. What's your favorite subject? Well, I do like our history class, especially the archaeology bits. And I took an elective in business marketing. That was really fun, too. Why did you decide to volunteer tonight? Well, I think it's good to get out and meet new, uh, new successful people at an event like this. What kind of successful people are here tonight? Well, there's Mr. Build, Build Bridges uh, earlier tonight. I think young Miss Thatcher is still around somewhere, I think. Mr. Build Bridges? Yeah, he used to be vocal about preserving our traditions and all that. If only he had Mr. Selden's resources. Used to be? 
He seems to become very introverted in recent years or so. I was surprised he even came tonight. Guess not many can resist Mr. Selden's charm. What is Mr. Selden's business? How can you come to this event and not know? I am not from here. Well, he is the owner of Selden Glassware. It's the biggest provider of glass products in all of Glacia. But it's just amazing how he got there. I mean, he took his father's so-so business and completely turned it around, finding new markets and opportunities. Don't many business owners do that, though? Yes, but not so many do it as efficiently as quickly as Mr. Selden did. Originally, his father produced only small home products, glasses, jars, that kind of stuff. But when Mr. Selden took over, he expanded to windowing with a whole new method of cheaply making glass sheets. It was a brilliant move on his part. I mean, he's really like a textbook of example of a successful businessman. Sounds like you really believe in industrialization. Well, not quite. I do think it can give us a lot to benefit, and we need to make sure they fall in the right hands. After all, too often it's used to undermine our Galatian roots. And what are the Galatian roots? There are so many beautiful things that define what being a Galatian is. Our language, music, food, even something like when we tap three times on the mirror when entering the house as a guest. No other country ac actually does that. I thought that it was so cool when I learned that in anthropology class. It's not often you find such a young man caring about his history so much. I mean, I really think it's important we don't just let money or success forget those things. You know how often the new agers, uh, agers pursue the progress for progress sake, completely abandoning our culture. Can't you per have progress while preserving culture? Maybe, but that's not how things are in Galatia right now, or right now. Our culture gets slowly erased like the baker's revolt that started it all. I don't much care for baked goods, spare me. In the end, the big industrials grow their business. The small folk who cherish our culture just get left behind. Uh, how do they get left behind? Small family shops can't compete with big new agers, agers. Many have been closing down. If they all close, the only one big store left. They could do whatever they want, make prices high, or pay for their workers very little. They'd have so much control. Hmm. Is convenience really worth losing your heritage or what your culture built? Look at Trentor. When the old ager locals renovated old buildings and opened beautiful gardens, it attracted rich industrials and their hipsterian children who slowly pushed them out, benefiting from their work. That's not evolving our culture, that's taking it over. And the government did nothing. Lobbied by New, a new Ager People of Peace Party to keep quiet. The public never realized, swayed by their massive propaganda, the old Jager voice got completely marginalized. That's not what democracy should be. No surprise revolts followed. I don't know. It's a hard issue to judge. Yes, but that doesn't judging mean both sides should get an equal say? That's what the TFF came about. Old Agers, to give the old Agers their voice back. Oh, what's the TFF? You're really not from here, are you? No, not really. One of my classmates is an immigrant too, but anyway. Tre the Trenter Freedom Force is the biggest group that organizes many protests and eventually uh, and events to bring attention to the old age or cause. They're the only ones fighting for the small folk. How do they fight? I learned about that in history. There was a protest in Trenter wa a while back and the government sent in soldiers to contain it. Many innocent people got hurt, some even died. The TFF was founded as a result of that. But now because new more new ager pr pressure, the government calls them terrorists. But because apparently they are responsible for some violent acts too. That's dreadful. I mean, sometimes if you care about your rights and love your country, but the government doesn't listen, sometimes you need to stand up and make them listen, right? Actually, this one I'm going to go with. No, I don't think you're right. But haven't we been trying that for a few years now? And uh, the situation only getting worse. Look at the... Ottoman factory. People there have been protesting their low wages. Everyone applauded their efforts, but nothing changed. Still, an armed uprising is not an answer in this situation. Then what is the right answer? Should we just keep talking, knowing our pleas are falling on empty ears? You need to learn to talk better and be patient. Hmm, perhaps you do have a point. What do you think we need to do? Diplomacy needs, er, 
Ah, it, it requires all of it. It requires time, it requires compromise, communication. Not really lever leverage. But I'm gonna go with comprom uh, compromise. Hmm, definitely think about that. Thank you for your valuable input. In any case, I probably should check the other guests to see if they need anything. Bye. Okay. Dower's graphs. Okay, cool. Oh, what's over here? Infernal Flames Country's first automobile plant. Two days, uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Nothing really big there. Nothing. Ah, uh, nothing. That's just way too much reading. Hey, how are you doing? Hey, Katrina. Tell me about yourself. Myself was so special about me. Why don't you tell me? Well, all right then, I'm Katrina. Pleasure to meet you. Likewise, I suppose. Is there anything else you need? Do I detect a slight accent? Oh, I'm not from Galatia, if that's what you're referring to. Well, brought you to Galatia. My parents and I moved here when I was very young, pursuing a better life. More opportunities or something like that. I never inquired much. How come you never asked? I suppose I'm just more interested in moving forward with my life rather than dwelling on the past. So you're more of a new ager then? Not at all. Whatever people really mean by that label. Alright then. Honestly though, I don't care much care for the local politics or squabbles of Glacia. Like I mentioned, I'm not from here. Okay. That's understandable, I suppose. Life is too short to worry about petty, petty squabbles of others. For all you know, I could die this very night from a heart attack. You could. Indeed, so why waste my time worrying needlessly about inevitable? That's one of the reasons I find biology so fascinating. Mother nature is not very motherly in that respect. Strongest child uh, survives. Not always. We need to help the weak ones often. Indeed, but we do... Uh, do it of our own violation, contrary to the rules of biology. Only us humans think of our survival in emotional terms. That's why animals are so much better to study, so much simpler. I see. Undoubtedly, animals are very complex, but the more we study them, the more we can explain via simple biology, bodily functions, chemical reflexes. Okay, I guess you have a point. I have. I've read some reports on dissecting animals to learn what is inside. It's interesting to see what makes them tick. Your job? No, not exactly. Just a fascination of mine. Well, everyone needs a hobby, I guess. Yes, yeah, better than me saying things on fire like some of Galatians, isn't it? There's just so much we can learn from dissecting biological beings. Sadly, our society shuns on doing that with other humans. There are still those who do it. Yes, those who often got punished for it, but had to go out of their way to obtain a carcass. Why is it such a big deal? Aren't humans just another type of animal after all? Yeah, we're all part of the animal kingdom. Exactly. If we can learn so much from study from animals, think how much more we can learn from actual dead humans. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Why not? I'm talking purely science here. There's so much to be learned from biology. Even so, not everyone wants their dead body disrespected in that way. You need to obtain their permission first. You seem to disagree then. Should we be studying dead human if we get... Should we be... Should we studying a dead human if we get the chance? No, even if understandable, it's not right without their prior permissions. Hmm, interesting viewpoint. Something to take into consideration. Why are you asking me all those questions anyways? Is this some kind of interview? In a way. Well, I don't care much for interviews, so enough about me. Very well, then. I will be off for now. Goodbye. Okay, so I've talked to her. Have I talked to this guy? France Cole. A glass of what? We have some fine oak cask aged whiskey and scott, as well as the finest sparkling wine one will find on this end. Actually, you know what? I'll have some whiskey. Very well, here you go. Okay, so he just serves drinks. I've talked to this guy. Or have I? What can I do for you? Nope, I haven't talked to him. Tell me about yourself. 
I'm Dower, John Dower, just a local watchmaker, not quite as skilled with, as my father, if you have heard of him. He passed away some years ago, unfortunately. Have you considered other pursuits? Well, I have been finding the science and philosophy quite interesting as of late. And maybe because of work with the watches so much, I've been reading a lot about theory of time and such. Well, good to have hobbies on the side. Yes, I suppose you're right. That's all I wanted to know about you. Oh, by the way, I saw that waiter man leave a key behind. I think it's the staff storage. You know where it might be wandering around? Oh, I was actually about to speak with him. Just give it to me and I'll pass it on. Oh, Grand, thank you for sparing me having to talk to him. Why don't you want to talk to him? Oh, he's just so chatty. When he gets on the topic of workers' rights... I'm not interested in gossip. I'll be off then. Okay. In timeline inflation turmoil. Let's go find a way to do. And then we will make our choice. Oh, there's more down here. Nope. Yeah, why not? We'll look through the pockets. Know your place is not... Oh, that's not cool. But then, considering... Over here. Yeah. Fight for your work. Join the Trent for Freedom Force. Already looked through the pockets. Well, I'm going to make a choice. I really did not like, uh... Where is she? I'm looking for the one I did not like. That's the one I'm going to choose. There she is. Playing Ophelia Thatcher, yes. You have made your decision. Space to continue through these messages. Unexpected Death Shocks Charity Gala. A fundraising gala for the benefit of the recently vandalized Rosedale High School took a grim turn when close to midnight Ophelia Thatcher suddenly collapsed. The cause of death is still unknown, but initial analysis suggests heart failure. Ophelia was the young daughter of the Thatchers known for their work at Gal Media. The biggest radio broadcasting company, Gallo's host and CEO Sheldon Glass, uh, of Sheldon Glassware expressed his sincere condolences, but hopes the tragic event will not damage his image or company. In an act of goodwill, he promised to... Uh, he promoted an experienced server, Franks Cole, to the head of human resources. Mr. Sheldon also expressed reluctance to host future galas after a key to the storage room went missing. Rose Hill High was the only able to raise part of the necessary funds needed for its renovation, remaining just one of many organizations affected by the uh, country's turmoils. Okay. Considering diplomacy. Trenter Freedom Force, the most radical and violent pro old age terrorist group in the country, took a strange turn in leadership today, proclaiming young Jerry O'Neill, former student from Rose Hill High, as one of its key, uh, new key speakers and activists. Jerry's rather fanatical involvement with the organization was uncovered shortly after a gala benefit for a school hosted by the successful businessman Bill Sheldon. Someone once told me diplomacy requires compromise. You need to listen before you can talk, said young Jerry. Really made me reconsider my beliefs and question the methods employed by the current TFF administration. The group seen no change in political and economic sphere, 
Among the wealthy businessmen, such as the aforementioned Mr. Sheldon, combined with Jerry's peaceful viewpoints, have been slowly turning toward more diplomatic solutions, curbing some violent activity but reluctant to complete uh, to a complete ceasefire. New hope for Glacia Colony's five-point plan accepted. A simple but highly anticipated plan finally bringing Glacian turmoil to an end was unveiled a week ago. After a week of strenuous negotiations, the plan was firmly accepted uh, this morning uh, meeting with great enthusiasm by both sides of the conflict, including the TFF, with its newest key speaker, Jerry O'Neill, eager for more diplomatic solutions. The great success was in large was has to be ad- attributed to the strong influence of the Thatchers. The Thatchers of Gal Media fame have turned all their efforts towards promoting unification after the beloved daughter's tragic death. Ophelia's pra- passing rem- reminded us of how fragile life is, said uh, Katie Thatcher, and with the power of our radio company, we realize we can really reach out and influence the public. The sad death of young Ophelia was at least not in vain. Wealthy lobbyists did little to help the uh, negotiations, always at odds with the older agers, please. Some analysts argue that if a few of the more successful and promising CEOs could have been convinced to change their policies, their involvement would have plan- panned out differently. But perhaps now is not the time for grave economic shifts, potentially further destabilizing the country. Maybe that is why HR managers such as Frank Cole, recently hired by Sheldon's class, were still opposed radical reforms, including hiring female workers. So while we may not be seeing neither new HR business upping their production and increasing profits, nor better wages and policies benefiting the old age of workers, at least Galicia remains economically stable in the otherwise very turbulent times. The acceptance of the Conley plan will hopefully mark a new turn in the country's turbulent future. However, the vandalism of the mixed Rose Hill High School a few months back and failure to raise the necessary funds to renovate remind us of our lacking in institutions to promote long-term reconciliation and showed that even if the politicians may be nodding their heads, the regular folk are not ready to shake the other side's hand. Due to your involvement, the Glacian turmoil quickly came to an end just after a few more months of a cef- before a ceasefire agreement was brokered. The level of violence and random attacks subdued slightly during the t- that time becoming a bit more manageable. With conservative leaders and lacking facilities like the Rose Hill High, Glacia's future was uncertain as it embarked on the long and difficult process of reconciliation Denizens of Hangar Force continue to be terrorized by random acts of annual violence, animal violence. Okay, and what happens here? Huh? What happened? You're dead, I'm sorry. Oh, what? why? Powers that be demanded... Ah, uh, let's see here. Powers that be demanded I claim someone tonight. Why did you choose me? Well, I'll be honest. I simply did not like you. That is all. I made a bad, bad first impression, and for that I deserve to die. Uh, yeah. What? How come? Based on what you said. Hmm, I guess that will teach me to keep my mouth shut. Uh, a little late for that now. Well, are you happy with yourself choosing me to die? Well, I wasn't doing it for myself. So what will happen to me now? Frankly, I don't know. Gee, thanks. So I guess I step in the light or something? Actually, step in the next room and our secretary will take care of you. Oh, bureaucratic. I guess I'll ask some more questions. Goodbye. Goodbye. Um, thank you, I guess. You're welcome. Bye. Really? Okay. Status closed. Result pending in view, review. Thank you for playing Postmortem and supporting us by buying our extended cut. We hope you enjoyed it. Replay to see how your actions influ- influenced the uh, outcomes and pair- compare them with others by clicking below. So you can actually compare this with other people. Uh, but I can't show that... Uh... Because it doesn't, I, I can't seem to get the, uh, for for recording these videos, I just can't seem to screen capture wind, uh, a browser, so. But it, it shows I'm within 17% of the players for choosing uh, Ophelia. 
So, I am going to say thank you for watching, and we will see you next time when we play another uh, game next week. Bye for now.